Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive in this 2013, I think, MacBook Pro. So, you're going to need it upside down. You're going to need, obviously, a new hard drive and a screwdriver. A star screwdriver. You'll see these screws on the bottom here, 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 and here. Take those out. Then you're just gonna pry the bottom off like so. Working from the hinge is by far the easiest option. And now we've got the inside of the MacBook. So here's the optical drive, the RAM, processor and such beneath this motherboard, battery, and the hard drive. The hard drive is the part we care about. Now to actually get the hard drive out, you see this black bar here? You're gonna have to remove that. It's just two screws. Keep that safe. Now just pull up on the hard drive gently. There's a ribbon that connects this. You don't want that to break. Now just take off that. That's the actual SATA connection. It's on a little extender there, so that's good. Now in yours, you may actually also have black pieces along here that you can take off with a screwdriver. Make sure you do and put them on a new hard drive. In my case, I don't because this hard drive has actually been replaced once before by a store and they put on these screws that extend it out a little bit so it stays in place. Um, I don't have the right screw head to take those off, however, so that's fine. Take your new hard drive. Again, if you've got it, put those, put that frame piece on. Take off the pull-out tab from the previous hard drive and just stick it on the bottom of the new one just so it adhesives a little bit. Now take that ribbon piece Plug it into the new hard drive. And just drop it down in there. That's a good fit. Now this black piece we took off a minute ago, we're just gonna put that back. And it just screws right back on there. All right, now since I didn't have those uh, little black pieces on the sides as well, this isn't a perfectly snug fit. So what I'm gonna do to remedy that is actually just take some paper towel, essentially. Well, that's exactly what this is. And I'm gonna put it over the top of the hard drive. That's just kinda of gonna fill in the space. There won't be any heat concerns because, well, a hard drive just doesn't give off that much heat. And that's gonna keep the hard drive in nice and snug against the top. Now we're just going to put the top back on. Simple as that and put all the screws back in. And that's it. Now the new hard drive is installed. You've just got to go about installing Mac OS X. Uh, maybe I'll do a video about that in the future. So, if you liked the video, give me a like. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. Comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.